Well, thanks for watching this episode of Answer the Call. I'm Pastor Chuck Reese, your show host and executive producer. This is a series all about evangelism and discipleship, and we're highlighting ministries all around the world that are serious about doing just that. Today, we're in Dallas, Texas, visiting Operation Care International. With me is the founder and president, Susie Jennings. Susie, thank you so much for spending time with Annette and our viewers. I am so blessed that you're here. Yeah, well, we've been talking for years, and now's the time. We just got done celebrating a big Christmas blowout here at the Convention Center. Tell our viewers a little bit about Operation Care and how God put on your heart to start this ministry. Well, Operation Care is a homeless ministry. It's actually an evangelistic homeless ministry that started in 1993 when my late husband uh, disappeared from our home and he committed suicide from a mental illness. And after that, I asked God, what can you do? Because I decided to choose joy instead of sorrow. So I asked the Lord, okay, Lord, what can I do to serve you? And then he led me under the bridge one day and he told me in my heart that I'm going to help the homeless. And my first response was, I said, no, not me. I'm not going. Yeah. They are crazy people and they are just violent and they just like to be a pest of this society. And God responded saying in my heart, you were the one who asked me, what can you do for me? Because that's what I did. After my husband died, I asked God, Lord, what can I do for you? So do not ask God, what can you do for him? <laughs> Let's just say it's for the answer. Yes, it's going to take you out of your comfort zone. That's what really what that's happened. Good. God good. took me out. That's good. And look what happened now. Yeah, that's good. And so if I asked you what the vision is, what's the mission, what's the heartbeat of Operation Care International, what would you say? It's uh, helping people find Christ, especially the poor and the homeless. And that's the heart of our ministry is evangelism. And the trademark is foot washing, which is servanthood. So the vision that God gave me is that if we could have this birthday party for Jesus, and it's here in Dallas. We started having a birthday party in 2004. So now this is our 15th year, right. having a birthday party for yeah. Jesus in Dallas, Texas. And the heart of the ministry is sharing the gospel. Trademark is foot washing. So it's the physical and spiritual needs of the poor and the homeless. That's how, what we do. Right. And you guys are doing some international trips as well, right? Yes, we are now in 12 countries. And we build school in different parts of the world, in Africa, uh, Cambodia, medical clinic for orphans in Cambodia, and also we're helping Israel right now. That's good. So yeah, let's talk about evangelism. There's certain projects and programs that are very evangelistic. Talk about that. Well, when they come to our event, it's always sharing Christ one-on-one. -on -one. That's what we do. We just don't give away gifts to the homeless and the poor. We share and give the greatest gift, and that's Jesus. That's the first thing that we do. And then, of course, we fill the need by providing for their clothing. We wash their feet, and also we have haircuts, makeover, dental work, and lawyers available, jobs, housing are available in this uh, ministry. And what we do here every year is called the nation's largest Christmas birthday gift for Jesus. Amen. So we're, we call the show Answering the Call because we believe there's lots of Christians that are in the seats that need to move into the streets. So talk about ways people can partner and get involved with operational care. Well, they could join with us. Go to our website at opcare.org, O-P-C-A-R-E.org, and look for different opportunities because we have a monthly partnership with the homeless shelter, and also we do street ministry, and we also do an uh, international ministry. We're in. Number one goal is to share Christ. And we have a vision that God has given. We're in this birthday party for Jesus will happen in 50 states and 240 countries. We're in, it's called One Day 2020, December 19, 2020. We're in this party, we'll have evangelism and trademark will be foot washing that will happen in 2020 children, 2020 children in each country. And we will provide the means like a $10,000 gift to each country so that they will have a party as a seed funding money. And then they could have foot washing, they could buy the footwear, and then they could have a big party where evangelism is the heart and foot washing is trademark. Right. Amen. Is there anything else the Lord put on your heart to share with us and our viewers? Well, choose joy. Bible said, weeping may endure for a night, joy comes in the morning. Amen. And that's exactly what I did. I choose joy. I asked God, what can I do for you? And that's what he did for me. He took me out of my comfort zone, took me to the homeless people under the bridge and told me to help the homeless. 
And by the way, I slept in the street of Dallas as a homeless person to experience what it is to be homeless. Yeah. And that opened my eyes to the plight of the homeless and it made me a better person out of that experience. So God can change me, He can change you. Amen, amen. Well stay tuned, we can get some more interviews from some folks who are involved with Operation Care International so you too can answer the call and get involved. The cities see homelessness as a problem, but God sees them as an opportunity for the faithful to show the love of Christ. And so that's what we're here doing today. Uh, the faithful are showing the love of Christ and blessing the people here in Dallas. I mean, we have some wonderful, wonderful folks involved who, with a heart as big as Texas. But more importantly, they're sharing the Lord's love with folks. They're sharing the Lord's message of salvation. It's very real. We're not just supplying a one-day need here with Operation Care. They're supplying a lifelong gift. This is love in action. And a lot of a lot of people coming together from all different denominations to do what Jesus asked to all of us to do, and that's to go out and love a broken world. It's a great time of, of not only talking about missions or reading about missions, but this is an opportunity to do missions. And at our church, we believe the best thing to do is a vision to go out and tell the dying world about Jesus Christ. But first, we know you have to help people to let them know that Jesus is a helper and a lover of mankind. Yeah, this, this effort here is to help the homeless population here in Dallas. A lot of veterans and non-veterans alike. Um, I'm a veteran myself, and so that's a, a pretty big deal to me personally, uh, seeing other people like myself who have served in the military and their families uh, when they're in a time of struggle, being able to reach back out and uh, stand alongside them and help them take the next step forward again. You know, I, I wanted to protect and serve my country, and now I have another opportunity to serve, serve our veterans today, serve our community. All I want to do is empower people to be the best that they can possibly be, and that, that's what I do as, as a leader. Uh, I love Susie's vision to take this to uh, all 50 states in the next two years, and I pray that uh, we will get enough partners to be able to do that. And, and 200 even to more, countries. And 200 countries, exactly. Yeah, yeah. 50 so, states and 200 anyway, countries. Yes. Yep. As Christians, we are the ones responsible for ending homelessness by blessing these people and bringing them in to our fold. So we see that. What are there, 3,000 volunteers here? So that again, it's Jesus in action. It's Jesus love made manifest through countless people, through the washing of feet, here through interchanges, quiet interchanges at tables where people are handing out coats and food and water uh, and a meal and a hug. I mean, God works intricately into all of these places. There's nothing more powerful than a personal story. And we relate to each other through stories. And uh, my story, your story, everybody's story is part of a greater story that God's telling. Hi, I'm Pastor Chuck Reesh. I'm the executive producer at Horizon Media Studios. It's a 501c3 media ministry, and what we're doing is helping other ministries tell their story. Homeless shelters and children's homes, Bible colleges, seminaries, mission sending agencies. With your help, we can continue to help tell their story to inspire the world to shine their light. Well, thanks for watching this episode of Answering a Call. Our next story comes from North Dallas. With me is Bruce Pepin, the author of The Best Is Yet To Be. Bruce, thank you so much for spending some time with Annette and I. Yeah, it's great to be with you, Chuck. Yeah, so you wrote this book. It's about finishing well. Tell our viewers a little bit about the genesis and how God put it on your heart to write it. I think this story is common to a lot of people. Certainly in my case, I was in the midlife season and uh, found myself just coming up and hitting a wall. And I had been a Christian a long time. It wasn't supposed to happen. I worked for a, a Christian organization. And I really wasn't sure I could keep my family together, my marriage together, even my faith intact. Yeah. So I had to just say, I, I, I got to take some time away. Yeah. And uh, that's what I did. I took a month off. And God dealt with me in some pretty significant ways. Yeah. Uh, even folks that are in full-time ministry, you know, they're constantly working it. And there's things that go on behind the scenes. Sometimes the heart gets checked out and we're going through the motions. 
Uh, we're not yeah. exempt from that yeah. kind of stuff, huh? No, we're not. In fact, if we're, if we're not careful, we can get into a bit of a performance mode or perfection, and we want to take control of our own life. And God is saying, no, well, hold on a second. I've got plans for you if you just let me lead. Is there anything else the Lord put on your heart to share with our viewers about the book? I would, I would just encourage you to uh, don't underestimate the influence of your life. Psalm 78 says that we can have an influence over multiple generations. Now that may seem a little bit far-fetched, but it's true. I've heard someone say that we should think about our life influencing our grandchildren's grandchildren. Mm. Think of that. Yeah. We live too, too small of a life because God's saying, I want you to influence your grandchildren's grandchildren. How do we do that? Well, that's part of this journey of passing a spiritual legacy on, investing it, and encouraging people to finish well. That's that Hebrews 12 passage. Everybody's cheering us on in that heavenly stadium, yeah. running that race, Amen. and God is cheering us on, and we want to hear those six words, the six most important words any of us could hear. Well done, good and faithful servant. It'll be worth it all, no matter what price we paid. Well done, good and faithful servant. That's what we're trying to accomplish through our own journeys, and I hope everybody that's watching will say, man, that's motivating. I want to finish well and hear those words. Amen. And, you know, it all starts with answering that call. Yeah, right? So when God calls, you've got to answer and <laughs> do what right. He says. That's right. If not, you're like Jonah that's running the other way, and, right. you know, you don't want it to end like that. Amen. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. good stuff. So uh, stay tuned. We're going to get some more interviews from some folks who've read this great book and two are going to set the course to finish well. Keep watching. Well, thanks for watching this episode of Answering the Call. I'm Pastor Chuck Reese, your show host and executive producer. This is a series all about evangelism and discipleship, and we're highlighting ministries that are serious about doing just that. Today, we're visiting with a ministry called Visual Experience Foundation, based out of Spring Lake, New Jersey, and with me is the founder, Michael Benson, also the CEO of Be Causes. Michael, thank you so much for spending some time with our viewers. I'm glad to be here. Thank you, John. Visual Experience Foundation. Talk a bit about the organization, how it became a 501c3. What are you guys doing? What's the purpose? Well, uh, it started at birth, actually. Uh, I was the youngest baby in the world to have glaucoma surgery in 1961. I didn't realize it, but at 16 years old, um, I did realize it. I had both my eyes operated on at 16, and I was told there was there wasn't a cure and uh, that I should take Braille and uh, try being a teenager and finding that out and uh, so uh, I didn't accept it too well and there are people that are diagnosed with um, with uh, eye diseases with no cure and they're drinking and they're doing drugs and they're jumping in bad relationships and uh, they're considering suicide and uh, and so that's what we share and we do it coupled with what I had been doing since 16, I started burning visual memories that if I ever uh, lost my sight, I would always have my vision. And I call it burning it. I had the opportunity of uh, making travel important to me. So, and I'll close my eyes and um, I would bring up the, the smells the sounds, which way the sun was hitting me, which way the wind was hitting me, uh, as if I was blind. And then I would open my eyes and I would say, burn it. And I would marry all these other senses like musical tracks. And then at night, I would, uh, I would do this throughout the day, wherever I was. This um, burning it was uh, something that I would then do it at night and do it in the morning. And I could close my eyes. And um, I, can, I can bring up a sunset on the Gulf at the Double Tree from five years ago down to uh, a woman chasing a little boy with a ball and a, a bird flying by. And so that's what I start with, that I, I teach this to the people. And uh, as we go to Niagara Falls or the Grand Canyon, and everybody comes and they're so excited and then what happens is the deep conversation and fellowship that happens over those couple yeah. of days that we talk about the real fear and living in today right. and i have the opportunity of uh praying you know for them and their vision and so 
We love ministries that are helping people, but also looking for opportunities to share the gospel. So talk about that. How are you introducing uh, families to Yeshua or Jesus the Christ? Well, why we're out on these events, um, what we do at every event is I share my testimonial with them and, and what happened to me and why I started Visual Experience Foundation. And, and I, um, I do ask them, um, if they're comfortable with me praying for their vision. So a lot has, a lot has taken place on our events mm -hmm. through the conversations. And uh, interesting is that we bring different uh, candidates uh, or recipients on the events. And we've had people that were saved and people that were not saved and I can step back. It's amazing to see what happens out of these uh, fellowships. That so you're meeting them at a point of need and you're, you're, you're talking about burning it and uh, I think that's a good practice for people who might not even have a, an eye problem just to maybe take in that moment uh, and really because there's a lot of moments in life and some of them we remember, some of them we don't and some of them we probably should be more intentional. Well with technology today and everybody in their phones and uh, you know uh, you could have a room full of people and everybody staring at their phone instead of speaking with each other to, to spend that time. We do this at the beginning and then I leave them alone. I may say, hey, you know, go practice this. And uh, it has been um, really great because we've seen it kind of mushroom through some different people where they're mentioning that they're burning it and uh, that it's uh, kind of caught on within the eye community. Well, stay tuned. We're going to get some more interviews, talk a little bit about Visual Experience Foundation and how they are answering the call. I first learned about Visual Experience Foundation through Facebook, mutual friends and uh, vision support groups. Honestly, a feeling of belonging to those who are experiencing such loss with vision loss. Um, it's, it's, it's like helping with someone mourning. Jenna was diagnosed when she was 10 years old with Stargardt's disease and I had absolutely no idea what that was. Her vision, her visual um, loss, like that being taken from her was really throwing me for a loop. So um, I was really confused about that and kind of lost. So when I stumbled upon this Facebook group and Michael, I was really intrigued by that. Michael was teaching us um, how to use our other senses to take in the falls so that when the site, when it is gone, then you can use other triggers to bring back the memories um, and so that you can see with your mind's eye. We went to Disney in Florida. One of my favorite things was um, going to eat at the Beast Castle. They tried to help them burn memories and just like wipe memories and things by burning memories. Um, you make lifetime um, friendships uh, and relationships there that you can call on. Hey, I need prayer. I'm, I'm just, I'm having one of those days. Can you pray with me? Uh, so it's, it's a wonderful, wonderful experience. Hi, I'm Pastor Chuck Reesh. I'm the executive producer at Horizon Media Studios. It's a 501c3 media ministry, and what we're doing is helping other ministries tell their story. Homeless shelters and children's homes, Bible colleges, seminaries, mission sending agencies. With your help, we can continue to help tell their story to inspire the world, to shine their light, and let God get the glory for the work that's being done in advancing the kingdom of Jesus Christ. Thanks again for praying for us. Well, thanks for continuing to watch this episode of Answering the Call. With me is Michael Benson, the founder of Visual Experience Foundation and the CEO for Be Causes out of Spring Lake, New Jersey. So let's talk about ways that viewers can get involved and support a ministry like Visual Experience and also Be Causes. Well, really, Chuck, the reason why I'm excited to be here with you today is it's important that we talk about how we got started. And when I use the word vision, it started with my vision at birth. It started with the vision for me to give it away to keep it and I was called. But I had a second calling was to teach them what you've been doing and I felt like, well, I'm already doing that. And the Lord spoke to me and said, no, teach them what you've been doing. 
And it really started when, I gotta tell you, and, and maybe everybody watching this show and maybe every other ministry that's been on your show, it's not easy to raise funds. I had to become very creative and I had an internet background. We got very creative on, on how we were raising money and I used barter dollars and, and looked at different trends and return on investment and a bunch of things that I'll lose everybody watching. But I sat back and when I got that second call, it was about all these other small nonprofits like myself or small ministries that I was meeting and everybody was struggling with the same thing and that I clearly saw all the dots on, on the technology that's out there and that um, people told me, Mike, you should write a book on the things you're doing. And the Lord said, no, I want you to build a platform that every ministry could use for free and everybody could share. And um, what I saw was building a platform that would be uh, revenue sharing. That's what Be Causes is about, that, that we've taken Amazon Smile, uh, a Charity Buzz, uh, eBay type company, and a Groupon type company, and we're looking at the technologies that are already out there, and we've put it into one platform that everyone can use for free, and um, working together for good, for That's those good. who love the Lord for his good purpose, right? right? So I'm excited. I mean, it sounds like you got three people that would love to call you, the business owners, to say, how do I get set up? Consumers, and also probably more importantly, the ministries, not more importantly, but ministries, yeah, they're always looking for additional revenue sources to help fund the baby, so to speak. At becauses.com, we have an ecosystem that we've built, and it's consumers, causes, which is ministries and charities, and businesses, and when we put those together, we have the Christian fish, and it says working together for good. It comes right out of Romans 8, 28. Beautiful. You're right, and so we're making this statement. What we realize is that this technology with the smaller nonprofits, they don't have the bandwidth to go out and negotiate with all these different businesses and put this together. What we've learned from big multi-billion dollar giants like a Groupon is that consumers are willing today to purchase something, right? We have this thing right here, everybody has it, right. that they're willing to purchase something. It, it discounted is even better, right? Mm -hmm. So they're willing to purchase and business owners are saying, hey, we're, we're gonna accept that and then they can do it online and walk into a bricks and mortar business and redeem that. And when they redeem it, it redeems in the back end of the business back end platform. So a lot of them have POS systems and how do they actually take it and so forth. Well, so that's the first thing we did is we built that same back end that businesses can now participate. And the businesses are, are we're solving a problem for the businesses because they're being hit where they may, you may go to a business and they love you, but they're supporting five other causes and they go, we can't support everyone. Now they can because it's driven by the consumer that the business can put up one offer and five different ministries can shop there with the same offer and then our system will yeah. pay the different ministries on That's each good. purchase. That's good. We're real excited because we're rolling this out and it, there's no cost to the ministries to start getting people associated with their ministry. And we'll know which cause these people are related to, which is valuable information to the business. And we know as Christians, we'll all go to the IHOP and eat there if we know that 10 or 15% is gonna go to our church. Well, now we have that on steroids, right? That we can save and raise. So Christians that have relationships with businesses, we wanna hear from them. This is definitely a calling and it's bigger than us. So if someone out there is watching and this is put on your heart, uh, this is a, you know, we're looking to build that team, right? To make this happen. So this is a call to action. Everybody can sign up as a free member to Be Causes. And uh, it certainly is a, a vision and that's it. It started with the, my vision, the vision of visual experience and now the vision of Be Causes. And even being on your show, um, everybody watching this show can pick their ministry, right. sign up for free. And when we have offers in their area, 
They'll hear about them, it won't be overdone, and if they make a purchase, at the same time, they're, they're blessing their ministry, so. Yeah. Is there anything else the Lord put on your heart to share with us today? Yeah, if we can use the technology that's out there, the world is using this technology, and the vision that I had is to create this, that we can use it working together for good, for, for those that love Him, for God's good purpose. And that's really what Be Causes is about. Michael Benson, thanks for answering the call. All right, working and, uh, together for good. Amen. You too, keep us in prayer as we uh, continue to seek partnerships, and uh, hopefully you too can answer the call. Hi, my name is Mike Keenan. I'm the owner of KM Fitness here in Manusquan, New Jersey. Big supporter of Big Causes. So far, just by using this program, I saved over 50% on a pair of shoes and took my family on a great vacation. But the thing that excites me the most is I know that every time I make a purchase, it goes towards a ministry that I truly care about. It's a great program. I think everyone should be a part of it. What I really love about Beat Causes as a business owner is that I'm not forced to pick one charity. Saying no to good causes is never fun. We're all about giving back at all my restaurants. With Beat Causes, I can now support the cause that the consumer cares about. This gives every charity the opportunity to raise money through us, through our Beat Causes offers. It just feels good to be part of something like this. Causes gives the consumer the control to spend with the businesses that support their cause while connecting businesses with those causes through our platform. So Autism Family Services of New Jersey is really excited about this opportunity to partner with the causes and provide offers to our families. So it's really a win-win situation where they get a deal and we get revenue in return. And it will give us the opportunity to build our database organically and to generate critical revenue for the programs that we provide to families with autism throughout the state of New Jersey. And take advantage of relevant strategic business trends that will impact building your reach and fundraising dollars at no upfront cost to you. And it's easy to sign up. Simply visit our website where you find a registration form and just like that, you can start with our onboarding process. Sign up your charity with Becauses today and raise the awareness and the funds that your cause deserves.